Thank you very much. We are at 6.03. Now, St. Tammany officials are monitoring this storm's track, as we all are, for possible impacts to St. Tammany Parish. That's right. The parish has activated its emergency preparedness plans. And joining us now with more on the preparations taking place is St. Tammany Parish President Pat Brister. Ms. Brister, thanks for joining us this morning. And tell us what you guys are working on there right now. Uh, good morning. Uh, we are continuing to uh, hand out fan bags. We'll start again at 7 o'clock this morning, go till 7 tonight. So far, we've done about 40,000 sandbags. We're watching, obviously, um, the coastline and the lower areas of Slidell. If we need to close roads, we're working with all the other agencies to do that, the Sheriff's Department, City of Slidell, and, and DOTD. Uh, we have, um, we Opened up our emergency operations center yesterday with a small crew. Now today will be a full, full scale operation center, and we'll just watch it like everyone else. You know, we we know it can move at any second, and we want to make sure we're prepared for that. And Pat, uh, th this this uh, storm moving in a northeasterly direction, a northwesterly direction. The winds are coming. Uh, these are uh, northeast winds shoving water into the lake. You guys have already seen a little bit of flooding on uh, uh, around Madisonville, right? Yeah, Madisonville on River Road that goes all the way out to the lake. Uh, that's usually our first indicator um, yeah. where it's coming from. So we we have closed that road already just as precaution, so no one. Is gets there out water there. on it? Uh, uh, on the back, way out um, near the river, there yeah. is okay. um, at the end of the road. But uh, it, it, that is that is a very low area and gets water every high tide. Yeah, so we know that's going to be an issue. And the other thing you're worried about is once this storm does pass, if it keeps on the current track, when the those those uh, those uh, bands of rain whip around, you guys are worried uh -huh. about rivers getting overflowed, which are already super saturated, and and then making more water yeah. come down. Yeah, and, and that, that is really one of our biggest worries uh, after the storm. Uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever rainwater goes in up north, we get it down here as it comes down. So we're watching our rivers closely, and, and they're being gauged constantly. So that, that was a problem we've had in the past. So we are making sure we're, we're ready for that, and just whatever talk about we need to do. Any closures you guys have across the area today? I've not heard of any yet. Um, I'm, I'm headed over to the EOC right now, but I've not heard of any at this point. Right, and, and the, the area you guys are most concerned about, obviously, you mentioned uh, uh, before, Eastern Slidell. Yes, yeah, that's the lowest area. It's the coastal area that uh, usually gets the first first blunt of it, and that's what we'll be watching. And we have crews out all over and have uh, during the night and we'll be on a 24-7 uh, watch now until this is over. So as soon as I get in, I'll get uh, information on where everything stands as of uh, all night last night. But right now, we, we don't have any major problems. Yeah, and we're waiting for another oh, f uh, 54 minutes for that next update. All right, Pat, thank you very much. Appreciate uh -huh. that. We'll be in touch. Thank you. All Thanks. Right. Bye-bye.